So today's how to, it's going to be how to fit a hob. Yes, I like it darling, I like it. That's how we're going to speak the whole way through. Yes darling, so hopefully you don't mind. No, right, so we are going to fit this electric induction hob. Yes, so it's the last piece of the puzzle. This yes. is our stage kitchen. It's looking lovely, it's looking I'll good, swing round. It? It's looking nice mate, it's looking nice. There we go. So the last part before we can get cooking is this baby. This bad boy. And it's only just arrived literally 10 minutes ago. So, right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna install it and we're gonna do a little quick how-to guide on how to install a hob. This is the same principle with a sink, we didn't show that. No. This is the same principle with a sink though on how to get your marks right and where you want it positioned, etc., etc. right? So that's obviously upside down. Hob's upside down, right? Work out where you want it from the front of the worktop, obviously to where you want the hob to finish, likewise from there, from the side and so forth. I'm positioning that hob in between my legs here. Yeah. Right, because we've got a fridge and a, fr um, a, fridge and a freezer going in here. Might have need to move that. Let me have a look at that. Two seconds. A little bit tight there, isn't it? Okay, so that's gonna move over 100 mil. Yes. Okay, that's gonna move over 100 mil. So that is irrelevant there, so I couldn't nick that over a little bit actually, couldn't I? Just Let me nick that over then. Let me nick that over a little bit. Because that at the moment, I've marked that up at 150, but I don't want it right on the end anyway. So if I, if we come in 100 mil, slide it to me a little bit more, Sam. Right there, whoa, whoa. If we come in 100 mil from the side, and then I'm gonna go 70 mil, which I've already got over there, 70 mil there. Right, let me move them marks in. It's very relevant now. I was just playing around, playing around with it before you got the camera out, Sam. Oh yeah, just to mark it up. Just to mark it up to see. So we're gonna come in 100 mil from the side. Just double check that again, 100 mil. Use your pencil line, mark just a little line on the outside. That's the top, don't forget, right? So that's not gonna be your cut line. No. That's not gonna be your cut line. Otherwise then, it'll fall straight through. It's gonna drop straight through the hole, right? So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark 70 mil. So I'm going to 70 mil, I'm putting the tape up against that, and then 70 mil is going to be the flush line. I've got a ball nose edge on that, so it's a little bit difficult, but that 70 mil runs alongside there, yeah? Yep. I've got my mark there already for that. So if we mark both corners, so we're marking inside, outside of there. So we're marking there and there, right? Around the corner. Then what we do, we transfer there to make sure we're square. We make sure we're square by going 70 mil there again. Which is there. We're going to mark. So now we know that that's square to the front of that worktop. Then what you're going to do, you're going to mark that corner there again. You're going to do the same on this corner. You know you're right at the back because you're right at the front. Same there. Same there. Yeah? Yep. Right, then what we're going to do, we're going to slide that out of the way for a minute. <gasps> You've moved it. I'm going to use a bit of masking tape. Yep. And we're going to go, so you can see the line through that masking tape still. Which is nice. Bear in mind, I've got two marks here now because that one was incorrect. Because we're 100 mil in, aren't we? We are. So there's a 100 mil mark there. Yeah, not that one, because that's when we're going to be 150 in, right? Yep. Then what you're going to do, from them marks there, you're going to measure inwards from the outside of the hob to your cut mark, because this is the hole that you need to cut. All right, so you're going to get your tape measure. Now that's 15 mil, from that there to there. So that lip is 15 mil basically. It's 15 mil in, so you're gonna go 15 mil in from the inside. The best way of marking that, if you're a novice, is get onto the gauge of 100 mil and work back 15, five, 10, 15. Yeah? Yeah. So that's that line there, and we do the same that end. Five, 10. 15. Now, if you have a look here, the side pieces are wider than the front and the back. Oh. Right, so now we're gonna do another bit of tape measure. You can still see your mark. Make sure that's straight, obviously. Make sure that's straight. That's why I've gone back over the top of it. There we go. Right. Then what you're going to do, you're going to transfer that measurement, which is 24 mil. Give yourself a bit because you've got a screw there as well. So if we go in 20 mil, 
Then we've got a bit of tolerance because you've got screws there. So if we measure inwards from there, 20 mil, you've got a little bit of tolerance there for that screw, 21 mil. Same again, come from the 100 mil mark. 5, 10, 15, 20, give yourself the one. Yeah? Yeah. So that's that mark there, and that's that mark there, because that's that line there, right? So that's, the in, that's, so that's my inside mark now. So that's my cut line there. That's in from there. So we've gone in 15 mil from the front of there, back, and we've gone back from the side in 21 mil. And you just transfer that measurement all the way around, and when you get there, you get your level line, and from each corner, draw a line. Each corner, draw a line, and do it square, yeah? Right, we'll come back to you. Good, Schnee. Two guys, darling, we should teach the people properly, darling. Yeah, so we've got our marks. So there we go, look, just show you as well. So there's our marks, as I said, we just duplicated what we did in that corner, all the corners, we use a level and we drew a line, right? So, give yourself a little bit, you don't want it squeaky, squeaky tight. So see that, in between there's 860. So if you transfer that, bear in mind I'm gonna measure the top and then you've got the screws as well, this is what I'm saying, right? So you have a look there, you're about 852, so give yourself 860, give yourself a little yeah. bit of wiggle room. You ain't gonna fall through. You're not gonna fall through, and then obviously the top bit there, look, I've got 490, so if you come from the top there, 485. So I've given myself five mil. Bit of tolerance. Just to allow for the screws as it slides in. Yeah. All right? So we are gonna use We're the gonna spade use spade bit. We're gonna start off with a spade bit. Now you're gonna have to measure, work out where you want that. Don't. Put the spade bit there. No, because you'll end up going too far. Because obviously the spade bit's gonna come on the outside of the line. So what you wanna do is eye up that spade bit so that that bit roughly, come in a little bit, because you can get that with your jigsaw. Work over there. Eye it up, you can come in a little bit better than that. Just give it a little dry run. See that? See yeah, that inside the lines, inside right? The lines. Magic, the hole is cut. There you go. So you've got a hole, right? That's your starting point for your jigsaw. So now what you can do is get your jigsaw in that side and we'll start working along that line, come on the inside of the line, all the way around, and then when we get to the end, it will drop out the magic. Let's roll. Let's get the jigsaw. The hole is cut and we made zero mess. Zero mess, all of a sudden it's spanking clean, darling. So good. Right, they give you a little bit of this stuff as well. They give you a little bit of this gear, yeah, which is sticky. So you stick that down, and then you run it around this edge, but you can run it on here, all the way around the outside, and then with a clear bit of mastic after the sand, like that. Sticky. So what we're gonna do, I've got my magical system with me today. Oh yeah, he's just, he's just turned up from running the catering van. He has. Busy day, mate, busy day as always. Looking right. well, mate, looking well, are you ready, mate? Right, my hands are... on. I'll give you a hand. Seriously? <laughs> Pain in the arse, isn't it? I don't think you're meant to use this stuff. This, what this stuff is, right? I'll tell you what this stuff is. God, it's just, just for packing. For packages. Yeah, packages. yeah so what that stuff... <laughs> no, it's good. We've got to get it out, so it's sticky. But none of us have got any nails. No. Because, um... We, Let me do it. We bite a nail. You've got no nails, have you? Well, you, you probably have, because they've said, wait, where's your towel? <laughs> oh, yeah. My eyes got a Sam helped us. Sam found it with his teeth. So what you're going to do, set that in a little bit from the edge of the, um, come in a little bit, tell you for why. Because then what you can do as well, you've got that down, and then you can run a bead of mastic, clear mastic around yeah. the outside as well. So if you have a spillage, it won't go underneath It'll the be unit. nice and tight. Yeah. I'm just going to stick that all the way around, and we'll come back, Joe. There you go. Got a bit of sticky around there, so all the way around, we're ready to go. It also comes with some clamp sand. So once this is in place, if you can imagine underneath, right, that will screw underneath here, and then that goes on like that there. So that screws into there, and then depending where you want it, you can move it around for your worktop. To keep it nice and tight. And then you screw it down, and that will pull the hob down. Yeah, yeah. and then that will put pressure on that, and then finally we'll finish it off with a bead of silicone. 
Very well explained that was. I oh, know, I'm good at that, mate. Yeah, yeah very good. You're good. I'll do it for you. Now. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. Right, let's right, hope which it fits. Mate? That is the back. That is the back. Cool. That's the front, right? Yeah. Oh, I'll come on, yeah. Actually, I'll take that back on you. You alright there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drop that in. Lucky the cable fits. Cable fits. I'll go underneath. You go in, mate. Oh, right. And you're going to drop yours in. I don't fit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's usually done. <laughs> Alright, now. Lovely. And then, oh, is it tight at the back? Tight at the back. Let me pull that back That's out. That's very nice. That's a real nice tight bit, actually. Pull that down in there. You're going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in. And there you go. That is a really good fit, baby. What are you saying about that cutting, guys? <laughs> well, I had to do it freshly because it was on camera. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Bro, no, yeah. No, no. And that's how you install the hob. And obviously, we've got to wire it up from the inside. We're going to put our brackets on. And then we use a bit of clear mastic and we just finish it off neatly around the edges. That's just in case when we're mixing them, we're going a bit crazy. Mm -hmm. Any spillages won't seep underneath and ruin the work from my side. Lovely. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Full builders out. Well done, mate.